Chief Climate Change Advisor at Shell, uh, taking us through the uh, energy transitions and climate challenge. At this point, I'd like to uh, bring in our three other panelists who have had the privilege of having a, a bit of a chat this morning. I'd like to uh, call in Dr. Edwin Aldrian, the Vice Chair, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Working Group One. Sir, good morning. <laughs> Dr. Antonio Lavinia, the Dean of the Ateneo School of Government, please. Come on stage, thank you so much, Tony. And the Honorable Zenaida Monsada, the Secretary of the Philippine Department of Energy. Good morning, ma'am. I'd like to remind everybody of the uh, pigeonhole um, uh, question and answer here. Uh, the system that I have here is on my iPad. As you can see, there are already four questions. You can't see them, but I can. Uh, some of them I planted, and I would appreciate if you could do the same. If you could just key in on your mobile phones, as Kintin had explained earlier, then I will see your questions here. And once I do, uh, if uh, it gets a lot of votes, like I already have two votes for the first question there, so I'm going to ask that later uh, this morning when we get to the panel discussion. I'll get to ask that first. And then if you make a vote on the other three, then the rest of the three go and get asked as well. So uh, please take part. It is pretty interesting when we get a lot of audience participation because you are so much part of this discussion. But first, let's carry on and uh, take the discussion further with Dr. Adrian, because I know that you've been part of the intergovernmental panel on the uh, uh, climate change developing the assessment. Uh, that was a couple of years back, if I'm not, yeah. uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, the group that you've worked with helps create an understanding about the climate system. So my question is, in your findings, what impacts the climate system most? I answer no. Yes, please. I understand that you do have a presentation, so if you could just take off from that question. Yes, uh, I think uh, the impact is almost felt by everyone. Uh, people know and people realize, but it's very hard to prove and hard evidence to link between the impact and the reality it comes from the climate change. It is a very tough job, but we feel it. Do you have some slides to show us how tough that is uh, in trying to address the impact to the climate system? Yeah, I got some example for the uh, energy sector uh, because we do have a report on renewable energy. It's a special report. And uh, what does the renewable report say? Yeah, uh, there, there are opportunity and great news that uh, we still have uh, uh, a lot of uh, challenge in front of us. But the important thing that uh, the opportunity is there, and then we just uh, need to pursue in that direction. And in, in your findings, uh, humans <coughs> really have the biggest impact on, climate, on the climate system. Uh, how is it getting worse? W what are the findings right now that make it urgent for us to address the challenges? Yeah, what, what is very urgent is that uh, most of the people of society, uh, they did not realize that whatever they're doing from the, the down till dusk, whatever they're doing uh, from the wake up until what the activity and then they're coming to bed, everything are related to climate. Even how they do shower, how they eat, how they transport. So this is that people don't realize. So the important thing is, is we need to socialize and then uh, let people aware and then uh, let's change our way of life. So this is the biggest challenge for us. I've got a lot of votes coming in. Thank you so much. You guys are great. You're, you're taking part in this. Thank you. Just keep it going, all right?